Hi, Will from Antelope Collision here. Do you like movies? Of course you do. Everybody loves movies. Action movies, horror movies, comedy movies. And that's why they're so great when you're studying English. You can practice your listening and talk to all of your English friends about movies. So in this video, I'm going to show you some new vocabulary that you can use the next time you have a conversation about movies. Action! First of all, what's your favourite movie? My favourite movie is Toy Story 3. So let's look at some questions now. Maybe you're not sure that the other person has seen a movie and you want to talk about this movie. So we've got two questions here. Have you seen? Or naturally, have you seen? We wouldn't really say have. We would use the weak form. Have. Have. Have you? Have you seen? Have you seen Toy Story 3? We have another question here. A little bit different. Again, same, same thing. Have you heard of? We would say, have you heard of? Again, it takes a weak form. We have a schwa in there. Have, have you, have you heard of? Have you heard of Toy Story 3? And these questions are for when we're not sure that the other person has seen the movie. But what if you are sure that the other person has seen the movie and you want to talk about it? If you're more confident, more certain that they have seen it, we might ask these questions. First one, did you rate, or naturally, did you rate? Did you rate Toy Story 3? Let's have a quick look at this. We have a did you, did you, and we kind of merge those together. Did you, did you, did you. Almost sounds like a J. Very important uh, pronunciation there. Uh, so, did you, did you rate Toy Story 3? Second question here. What did you think of, or oh, naturally, what did you think of? What did you think of? Again, did and the you join together and make a J sound. What did you think of? What did you think of Toy Story 3? So those are some ways that we can ask questions about movies. Now let's look at how we can give our opinions about movies. Here I have four faces. Which one do you think is an exciting movie? If you watch an exciting movie, you could say, I was on the edge of my seat. It means the movie was very exciting. I watched from behind the sofa. What type of movie do you think this guy has seen? We might say this about a very scary film. If you watched a scary film, you might say, I watched from behind the sofa. It was very scary. Do you ever do this when watching a movie? We call this biting your nails. Maybe if you watch a very suspenseful or nerve wracking movie, uh, kind of like exciting, but you're scared at the same time, you might say, I was biting my nails. <sighs> but not all movies are good. Some movies are boring. Maybe if we watch a boring movie, we might say, I nearly fell asleep. So there's some new vocabulary for you that you can use the next time you talk about movies. And all of these phrases and idioms will make you sound like a much more advanced English speaker. What was the last movie you watched? Did you rate it? What did you think of it? Please leave a comment below and we will correct your English for you. 
If you liked this lesson and want to see more, please make sure that you subscribe. And right now, I think I might go watch a movie. See you later.